Hello, my name is Kushal and uh, today I will explain how you can download a zip file from a URL using Python. So in this video, I will explain these following topics. I will demonstrate every method one by one. So let us start with our first method, which is downloading a zip file using wget library. To use the wget library, you need to install it in your Python compiler. So you can install it using the pip command like pip install wget. It is showing that uh, requirement already satisfied because I have already downloaded this library. So let me show you an example how you can download a zip file from a URL using this wget library. I have also written an article on this topic and I will leave the link for this article in the description box. So for the whole video I will be using this article as a reference. So this is an example. This is a URL to download the Golang. So let me just copy it and execute it here so you can see that the downloading is started and you can also see the live progress of the download so it will take some time now you can see that the download is about to complete and you can see that the download is complete now let us verify in this location if the file is downloaded or not make sure that uh, the download location will be the same location as your python source code location so let us verify it. So this is the location where it should be downloaded. So yes, you can see that uh, the file is downloaded. So in this way, you can use the wget library to download a file from a URL using Python. Now let us see another method. So you can also use the request module to download a zip file from a URL. For this, you need to install this module using the pip statement. So let me just show it for you. So it is saying that the requirement already satisfied means I have only already downloaded it. So let me show you how you can download a file from URL using this request module. So this is a sample code which you can use to download a file. So let me just copy it and execute it here. So you can see the download has started. The size of the file is large, so it will take some time. So let us wait for the file to be downloaded. So let me just explain this code for you. Using this request module, we are sending a get request to the URL. And uh, in response, we are getting the file. And then we are storing this file into our local file system. Okay, so now the file is downloaded completely. So let me just show it where it is downloaded. So this is the file that I have downloaded. So in this way you can use the request module to download a file from a URL using Python. So let us see another example. So in this example we are downloading a zip file from a URL and also we are extracting it. This means we are not storing it in the form of a zip file and directly writing the contents of the zip file in our local file system. So in order to implement this method, we will need three modules. The first one is the request module, which is used to download the zip file. The second one is using bytes IO, which is to read the file from the buffer. And the third one is the zip file, which is used to extract the zip file. So this is the sample code that you can use to download a file and extract it directly into the local file system. So let me just copy it and uh, execute it. So let's see. So you can see that the downloading is started as well as completed also. So let us verify if the file is downloaded in the download location. So this time I have specified the download location which is stored in this path. So let me just go to this path. So you can see that the file is downloaded successfully. So in this way you can download a zip file from a URL without writing it on the local file system and directly write the contents of the zip files into the local file system. So let us see another example. So the next example is to download multiple zip files from a URL. You might have seen various pages, various web pages in which you have uh, seen the multiple download links for us for multiple zip files. In such a case, you may want to download all the zip files from a single web page. 
So in order to download all the zip files from that URL, first of all we need to scrape the URL links to the zip files and uh, store them into a text file. Later we can read the text file and uh, download the files using those links. So let me show you how we can do that. This is the sample code that you can use. In this example I have used two libraries. The first one is request which is used to download the zip file and the second one is beautiful soap which is used to clean the web page from where we are scraping the URLs. So let me just uh, copy it and execute it. So you can see that the first file is being downloaded and it will take some time to download. So in the meantime let me show you the URL from where I am downloading these files. So this URL is So let me just go to this URL and uh, show you the files and you can see these are the files that uh, I am going to download. These are the links to download the zip files and I am scraping these links and uh, storing them into a text file. So let me just show you the text file where the URLs are being stored. So it was in documents and you can see the file and you can see the URLs are here that uh, I am going to use to download these files. So I am stopping this process because I don't want to download all these files and you can see most of the files are downloaded. So let me just uh, show you where these are downloaded and uh, you can see that these four files are downloaded and the last one I cancelled it. So in this way you can download multiple files from a single web page using Python. So let us move to our next example. We can also use this uh, alternative method which is just uh, using the wget instead of uh, the request library. So this is the code that you can try. So let me just copy it and uh, execute it. So you can see the progress bar. The file is being downloaded. Now let us move to our another example which is to download a zip file from github using python. So downloading a zip file from github is very easy. You just have to copy the link in your repository to download the zip file and use wget or the request module to download this file. This is the sample code that you can try. So let me just copy it and execute it. So let me just uh, cancel it. The process is taking too much time. So let me just uh, execute the code. Okay, the status is unknown, but uh, the file is downloaded. Let me just show you. So this is the download location and you can see the file is downloaded. Now let us move to another example, which is download a zip file from Azure Blob Storage using Python. To download a zip file from Azure Blob Storage using Python, you need to install this library named Azure Storage Blob using the pip command. I have already downloaded it, so I will not download it again. So in this approach, first of all, we have to make a connection with our Azure Storage container and we have to use a connection string. Then we have to download the file and we can save that file in our local file system after the download is complete. So this is the sample code that uh, you will use in Python to download a file from Azure storage. Now to get the access key or the connection string for your storage account, you just have to log in into your Azure account, then open your storage account and uh, click on access keys. And you can see that uh, I have two access keys here and uh, these keys and the connection strings are hidden for now. So I can just click on show keys and I will be able to view the keys and copy them. So let me just uh, substitute this connection string into my python code and then I will execute the program. So now I have substituted the details of my storage account including the access key and the file name. So let me just execute it. And you can see that the download is complete. So let me just verify in the download location. This is the file that I have downloaded. So in this way you can use the python code to download a zip file from your Azure Blob storage. So that was all for the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for watching more free videos on the following topics. Thank you for watching this video.